thanks for waiting so long with me okay this is the look that i came up with inspired by aunt wendy from witches of east end so i hope you like it and also there's a petition going around to get the show started again so if you could please look down below i should have a link for it and i also will have a link to everything that i'm wearing right now and also if you like this please subscribe and like the video keep watching Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to clip your hair back. So the last thing you want is your hair to fall into your foundation. And I was having trouble finding my clip when it was right in front of me. And now you want to start off with a clean face and clean hands. Okay, now you want to use scotch tape and tear off some pieces and put on the back of your hand. Once you do that and get most of the stickiness off, you want to put that on the corner of your eye, um, parallel to the end of your brows. And what that's going to do is, is give you a clean line for your eyeshadows to give you that cat eye look. Okay, now you want to try to get them to match as much as possible. If you can't, that's okay. You can clean it up with a makeup wipe, a Q-tip dipped in some makeup remover, or even a baby wipe. Okay, now I'm going in with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and putting that all over the lids. Okay, now we're going to be using a flat definer brush and we're also going to be getting the Mainly palette and we're going to be using the top row of blacks and grays and lighter grays and that's what we're going to use to do our cat eye. Okay, now we're going to be taking the three lighter grays. One has a little bit of sparkle in it, but we're going to be taking all those and mixing them together and putting them on the lid, taking them a little into the crease and a little bit above the crease just to work in the black later. And this is when I realized I forgot my transition shade and the transition shade we're going to be using is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and the transition shade is not really going to show up. It's just going to give you um, an easier transition to the other colors. After that you just want to go back in with the grays and with a blending brush this time and just keep working and keep blending and that was my nephew behind me and it was not a ghost and make sure you repeat it on both sides Okay, now after you've got both eyes fairly even, you want to pick up a smaller defining brush and you want to take um, the two blacks, either one you can mix them or you can just go in with one and then build up with another one after. And now you're just wanting to put it in the crease and kind of wing it out into a cat eye. And remember the tape is going to guard anything that falls so you will have that sharp line. But you want to blend it up as best as you can and it almost looks like a cut crease. But we're going to blend it out so it can be a soft cut crease or you can blend it out even more where it's just a basic smoky eye.
Now for both sides, you just want to keep picking up color and placing it and blending it out. And you want to do that on both sides and blend till your hand hurts. Blending is your cardio. So all the makeup gurus, you know this. Just blend and when you think you're done, blend some more. Now if you also feel like you've lost some of that lighter color on your lid, you can also pick that up and place it and you can do that as many times as you want to get the desired look you're looking for. And I just realized this, I always do one eye instead of doing them both at the same time. I don't know why I've always done this. And if you do it too, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. And seriously, does anybody else wish they could do makeup this fast? Lord knows I do. And yes, anybody who knows me knows I have to jam out to Bernadette Peters once in a while. As you can tell from the picture in my background, I'm a huge fan of hers. And the song I was singing is Falling in Love with Love from uh, the soundtrack of Cinderella by Rodgers and Hammerstein. It is one of my favorite movies. Now what you want to do is pick up the lightest two shades in the palette and mix them together and put right below the highest point of your brow. And I just noticed that I'm putting it in my inner corner and there's no need for that because later on I'm going to wipe it away with a makeup wipe anyway. Guys, I just want to let you know there's that in-between stage in every smoky eye that you just you're like mm, I don't know if this is gonna work it's kind of sketchy but keep with it and keep smoking it out keep blending it out and trust me it will get there and now we remove the tape and voila we have a perfect straight line and after that you can just clean it up with any makeup wipe to get any fallout and around the edges anything that you see that you want to touch up just take the makeup wipe and clean up what you want And now we're gonna use the Nivea Men's After Shave Balm. I am obsessed with this. This is what we're gonna use as our base and also our moisturizer. I seen it from Jaclyn Hills Tutorials, Nicole Guerrero, also I think Casey Holmes and Manny also uses it. And I have become obsessed with it and that is all I've used. It literally sucks into your skin. So I highly recommend you try it. Okay, so next we're gonna be using Maybelline's new Dream Velvet Foundation in 40 Nude.
Okay, and now we're going to be taking a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge Damp. All you got to do is run it under water and squeeze it a couple times and it will get about two to three sizes bigger and you want to wring that out as best as you can and then just use it to tap out your foundation. Also what the Real Technique Beauty Sponge does or the Beauty Blender, whichever you prefer, it shears out your foundation and, and adds moisture and also sucks up any extra product that you have on your face so your face doesn't look all cakey and just a mess. Always remember to blend on your neck and also blend on your ears because the last thing you want is a demarcation line between what your skin is and the foundation if it's not a perfect match. If it's not a perfect match, you can always usually fix it by using some powder and blending it out well. And next we're going to be going in with Maybelline's Master Conceal and we're going to be using any kind of concealer brush that you have on hand. And we're going to put this under our eyes in a V shape and we're going to put it up in the corner because we don't want a dark corner. We want to be very bright. And you also want to put it down the center of your nose, on top of your cupid's bow, your chin, the center of your forehead, basically anywhere the light would hit naturally you want to brighten up. And next we're going to be using Maybelline's Dream Lumi in the color Buff. And we're going to put that on top of the concealer to add brightness and to make you look more awake. Now what you want to do is use the same beauty sponge. I like to use the pointed side because it gets in the inside of the eye socket really, really well and underneath the eye. You can also use the flatter side to pat out um, anything in your T-zone and also that flat side is what I use to pat out my foundation. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use any kind of tapered powder brush and we're going in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the color Dulce de Leche. We're going to use the lightest shade and put underneath our eyes and in our, the center of our forehead, our chin, our nose, anywhere that the light naturally hits just to set all that foundation and concealer. Okay, now we're going to go in with Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the color Sandstorm. And we're going to put that all over the rest of our face and even over the places that we put the highlighting powder just to mattify our face just a little bit more. And also remember to put it down your neck. Okay, now we're going in with my favorite part, contouring and bronzing. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep and oh my goodness this smells like chocolate. It smells so amazing and what you want to do is you want to put it in the hollows of your cheek and you just want to take any contour brush that you have and just blend that out as much as you can and you can add as much as you want. Also put it on the sides of your temples up into your hairline just to slenderize your face a little bit and you can also put it on your um, jawline and down your neck just to slim up your jaw and your neckline. I 
also forgot to mention that you can also run it down the side of your nose to also slenderize your nose. Okay, now what we're going to use is a Too Faced Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in the color Justify My Love. And we're going to put that on the apples of our cheeks and work it backwards in circular motions. Okay, and now we're going to be taking my Holy Grail palette, and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. We're going to be taking the lightest shade, and we're going to be using that as a highlight. Okay, and now we're going to be using the same brush that we used to put on our blush and put on our highlight. Next, we're just going to be putting on some chapstick, which is called Chap Eyes Medicated Lip Balm. And that's just to prep our lip. Okay, now we are going to do our brows in the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. If you want an in-depth brow tutorial, let me know in the comments down below and I will be happy to do that for you. I also noticed at the end of this video that I did not use any clear brow gel, which I normally would use because I have very sparse brows and they like to go everywhere. So remember always to use a clear brow gel. Okay, now we're going to take any flat smudger brush and we're going to take the darker gray and the black and just smudge that underneath our eyes to really smoke it out. Now I forgot before I started smudging underneath my eyes that I forgot to put eyeliner on. So put it on your top and bottom waterline and I know it looks really weird the way I do it but that's just how I've always done it. And then after that just go back to um, blending out underneath your eye and sponging it out really good and also using a blending brush to go over it and smooth any harsh lines. Also while you're blending you also want to try to round out the cat eye. It's still going to be a cat eye but it's going to be more rounded like in the picture that I'm inspired by which will be in a link down below. Okay, so I also went in with the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Shadow. I believe it's matte. Um, I put it under my brow bone. It just was not bright enough for me, so I added a little bit of that and it was perfect. And as I said before, just keep building and smoking out and blending out the look because you can never go wrong with too much blending. Okay, now what you want to do is take any stippling brush and go underneath your eyes just in case you have any extra fallout. You can go over your bronzer and your blush just to blend it a little more and in case there's any harsh lines, 
Okay, now we're gonna go in with Maybelline's Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black and any eyeliner brush of your preference. And we're just gonna do a really small line. It got a little thicker than I wanted it to, but try to make it as small as you can. And we're not gonna wing this out. I know we're doing a cat eye, but we're not gonna wing it out. This is just to darken up our lash line for our lashes. Now we're just touching up our eyeliner on our top and bottom waterline just to make it a little bit more dark. And then after that, we're gonna curl our lashes and prepare for falsies. Okay, so now we are going in with Ardell Demi Wispies and we are using the duo glue that dries clear. I am not really good at putting on lashes. I absolutely love lashes and I love the way they look after they're on, but trying to get them on right now is a struggle. And we all know first timers with trying to get lashes on. So while their lash glue is drying, we are going to work on our lips. Okay, now we just put on the mini lip liner from Avon in Wildberry. Okay, now since I'm all over the place, we're gonna go in and touch up our gel liner. Now if you have any skin showing whatsoever and it just bugs you like it did me, just touch it up and we're also gonna touch up where the glue shows at the base of the lash line on our falsies. Okay, after that we are going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and we are going to coat our real lashes at the base just to blend it in with our falsies. And don't forget those bottom lashes. off our lips we are going in with Revlon Black Cherry and then on top of that we are just going to put any gloss of your preference. Now if you make a mistake and you go outside your lip line don't worry just take some concealer on a small brush and go and fix anything you messed up. Okay guys, this is the final look inspired by Aunt Wendy of Witches of East End. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.